Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the same thing and how you can uh, basically connect your Windows 2090 server with your Windows 10 desktop so you can start to synchronize your backup files. So what we're gonna do now would be the firewall and the first thing we want to change the uh, firewall settings here and uh, changing the notification and what we're gonna do now is just disable the firewalls and I know that's not optimal but what I'm gonna do now is just to be sure the Windows uh, 10 machine could uh, see what we're gonna do and uh, then I want to add remote and you can see we have two devices here and that's probably because I have the one from the Linux one and then I have the one from the Windows so the first one we're gonna do now should be installed from the Windows so uh, the 2090 server is here and I want to say show me the ID this is the ID so I'm going back for the for the two uh, um, for the, the Windows 10 and then I will just add the devices here so I'll just say Windows 10 send box 2000 server 2019 sandbox that's what we're going to do now and advance it's okay and sharing and I'll push this uh, I'll share this folder so that's what we're going to do now nope I'm not sharing this so just saving it and uh, we're trying up here and uh, what we're going to do now is going back for the Windows server here and this probably want to ask about we want to add the devices so let's go back for the Windows 10 and uh, going up here and edit it edit the folders and going for the sharing and we push it to the Windows uh, Server 2090 uh, sandbox and going back for the server and it should be some help in here it could take a little time because it's should discovering something like that but we still disconnected so something is not correct right now so let's just uh, wait a little bit and now you can see we are peer up here about the it's, it took a little time I think it's uh, one or two minutes or something like that and say the device desktop here with this ID at this MAC address on port 2020 22,000 wants to connect at the new device and we say yes we want to add this and that's we want to call it Windows 10 sandbox that's what we're going to do now and uh, sharing we don't share anything with it and we just say save and now it's unused and I think it's take a, the same one or two minutes and then it will appear with the folder nope it's taking only one 10 20 seconds and now it's saying we want to uh, share the folder Paris backup files testing with the folder ID. You want to add this new folder and we say yes. We just click on that. And where we're gonna do this and it's say we want to on the um, on the C drive, but I want to say backup files. And then we want to say that's fine and just save it. Now saying everything is up to date, so I'll just edit a little bit. I will uh, go in here to advance. I'll say ignore pr uh, permissions, and then say I only want to receive files, and then I save it again. Now you can see we are disconnected with the sandbox, and basically that's that's okay because we will get connected in just a minute. So let's go back for the Windows 10 sandbox version here. And I'm going for for my folder, and going for the C drive here, and going up uh, the users MSN, and here we have the backup. So let's create some file here and say hello world, and save it up, and say this is this is a test file. 
and to save it you can see we have sending the bytes out and if I'm changing to my Windows Server here and open up the folders and see this computer and minimize this folder here and going inside to the backup files the folder and then you have the testing files so so that's how it's working now we know that's working so let's enable the firewall again so it will be disconnected and we need to open the two ports for the sync things first so let's do this so use the recommended settings now the firewall is just enabled again and you can see we should disconnect this one it's take probably a little little time then we should be disconnected and then we allow the application yeah, I think that's that's going for Windows 10. And that's still. Let's create one file more and say click on File Test and see how it reacts. And two, and we're trying to say up to date. Let's see the VM on 2000. And it's saying one file, and you can s now see we don't, we cannot back it up yet because we don't have any right permissions. So that's what we're gonna do now. Still have one here, and advanced settings, and in the advanced settings. We want to say inbound rules and I want to add new rule and this should be the port number and a TCP 2200 and all connections allow connection from secure and this is fine and this is love everything we want to say send thing TCP, I think this is it should be listen port to sync portal call listen. That's fine. And then we need to say new rule and the port number should be ODP and this one should be uh twenty one one zero zero twenty seven. 21,027. That's what I mean. Low all connections and domain, and this should be sync thing, and this should be the discovery port. Podcasts. And that's fine. You can just close it down again, and now you can see we have two files. And let's make the last test. I'll just see. My new folder with a test file inside, and then we go in inside and say a test file in a folder. And you can see it should be three files here. And you say that disconnected, but it's not true. And yeah, now it's connected again, so it's because we have this cover. So three files and one folder. If whoops, that's my VM. Sorry, and uh, we're going up here, and now I have the folder with one file inside. So everything here is all working, and now you're ready to go about how we can uh, use the Windows 2090 as a server, and how we can use the Windows 10 desktop as file. So if you have a, if you have a uh, company where you have a lot of uh, Windows uh, machines, then you can just uh, add this software on the try and uh, then all your your employees will get the backup for your for the desktop environment that's pretty nice and it's working pretty smooth thank you so much for having you here today and i really hope you want to subscribe please go in the right corner below and click on the thing then you will go and subscribe and you get more videos from me i really hope you want to like and share this video if you have any questions about me about this video about something about anything you have on the heart Please make the comments below and I'll try to answer you as fast as possible. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.